I'm not sure where everyone is. Everyone's busy. Um, busy creating uh, chatbots so they can just have people come up and um, answer automatically. How's everyone this morning? Can type your answers. Hope everyone is good. Um, so we're going to jump straight in with some announcements. So first, everyone has. So Cindy is off this week. She had a personal issue, and so she's off this week. So stand ups will be either me or Yatiana running this week. So you get to hear a different voice. Um, change is always good. Um, in terms of other announcements, uh, has anyone seen the announcement that we made for the extension? Um, I hope everyone has seen that. Lots of people are joining now. Let me get my other set of headphones. Has everyone seen the announcement that the um, due dates have been extended? We tried to find um, an in-between solution. So that's announcement number one. The dates have been updated in the challenge description, so you can see that. Um, we have the two interim submissions. We have Wednesday and we have Saturday, and we also have next week. Uh, the final is due next Wednesday. And then our hope is that people uh, relax in between, relax, catch up, sleep, have breakfast, all the things that we talked about yesterday. And hopefully that leads to everyone feeling a little bit more chill. So that's uh, announcement number one. Um, announcement number two is that um, we're going to be scheduling one-on-one -on -one interviews with everyone or giving everyone the opportunity to schedule their own one-on-one -on -one interview. Um, and so that's going to be coming out this week. And so that's a chance for us to give you some feedback and also for you to ask questions and just get a sense of where things stand. So we found that very useful in the past. Um, so that's coming up. And the third is the contract and the first payment uh, will be coming up. So that will also be announced this week. So as we mentioned during the application process as well as during the interviews, that's something that we wanted to, um, we, have to we have to do that in order to actually be able to offer quality training all the services, all the team members that we have, um, we depend on that to allow us to continue. So that will also be uh, launched this week. Um, Kevin, I think Kevin has an announcement as well. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Um, so my announcement is still emphasis on the SSH keys. Um, if, if you've not created your SSH key yet and you've sent it to me, you won't be able to access the AWS instances that we're creating for you guys to work on this particular project. So at the end of the day, you're the, you, you, you're the person who's going to miss out on the experience that you get from working on a, on a server somewhere else. And I'd really urge you guys, and I know you, all, you have groups, and if you know a member, of your, a member of your group hasn't sent the SSH keys yet, um, I'd like you to encourage you. I'd like to ask you to motivate them and have them send the SSH keys before noon today. Um, I mean, before noon East African time, in, in about an hour's time, or before before today's tutorial. And that will make it easier for us. <laughs> UTC, UTC. Just stick UTC. with UTC. You're, you're going to like Kenya time, Mombasa time. I don't know which other. You're going to you go to Somaliland time next. UTC. Uh, okay, so at 10 UTC. Um, and then so that you can have your AWS instances ready and you can be able to start working on your project on AWS. Um, that's all for my side. Great. Okay. Anyone else on the team? Yeti, any announcements from your side? Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone is doing great. Um, we're. I'm going to reach out to um, trainees today at, at, about the um, non-technical assignment. So be on the lookout for that. And um, as usual, if there's anything you need, if there's any clarification about anything, just feel free to hit me up, or you could just ask in the All Week Four channel. Great. OK, um, so we're going to do our stand up and we're going to do it super simple. Uh, we want to hear what you were working on yesterday, <clears throat> what you're working on today, any blockers and how you're feeling. So any students who want to go, please raise your hand. That was a trick question. Um, any trainees? Glad nobody put their hand up. So who wants to go first?
some very talkative people. We have Natnail. Great. Natnail, go ahead, please. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yesterday, I wasn't that much active uh, because I was changing place and everything. So it wasn't uh, suitable for me yesterday. But we created a Rocket Chat group uh, so uh, we could work together and started the Git repository and uh, created some of our branches. And we are planning to meet uh, after this session and uh, check on our progress or what we should we be doing and everything. Have you made a schedule not now for when you want to get what done and who does what? Uh, we are going to discuss it after this standup. OK. And any blockers? Uh, not yet, because I haven't looked deep on the document, because yesterday I was a little bit busy due to my personal issues. OK. And how do you feel? How are you feeling today? OK, I'm feeling nice. Uh, yeah, I could say I'm feeling nice. I'm trying to uh, watch other people's code, and because last week's was, I need to understand it more you know, there is some feeling nagging me, like I should understand it before moving to another one kind of thing. So I've been trying to check that also. It's yeah, an excellent. I think it's an excellent way to proceed. That really goes to this direction of people learning together. That it's not one one person, but the whole group is learning as a swarm. Yeah. What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> I haven't actually. You haven't had breakfast. Yeah. I'm planning oh to eat God. lunch. Yeah. You're gonna have, you skip breakfast for lunch. You're supposed to have breakfast like a king, lunch like a farmer. Um, <laughs> who wants to go next? Or not now, if you could pick someone, maybe you, you can just unmute and pick somebody. Okay, so I'm seeing Amon Amon Kimuti Kimutai. Sorry for your name. Amon Jumbo. Jambo sana. Sawa, sawa. Yeah. Good morning. Okay. Yeah, I've just joined. Uh, I don't know. So, so the usual. Um, how is? What did you work on yesterday? What are you working on today? Any blockers? And how are you feeling? Is today's um, today's routine? Okay. Um, I can really say that the progress is quite good because. Uh, we had a meeting a few minutes ago, and uh, yesterday we've been, you know, going through the challenge at personal level, and I think uh, having good background information about the task is quite important. So that is what I uh, task among ourselves, and um, after this, I think we are going to work to see how we we are going to join hands together. Uh, after working on various tasks to complete the, the entire task. Great. Do you have a, does your group have a schedule for when you want to get what done? Uh, not really. Okay. Yeah. I, I would highly encourage each group to have a schedule with uh, who has to get what done by when. Okay. We are going to yeah. consider that right away after this. Okay. Any blockers, Amon? Uh, so far, no. Uh, but okay. we had a challenge in uh, finding a way to load data because of uh, many folders to the mm. data. Yeah. Okay. And did you find a solution? Yeah, we uh, we, we we asked um, Elias, and uh, I think. Because uh, just me our meeting just ended, and then we joined uh, this uh, stand up. So I think we are going to find a way, a solution after this. OK. If anyone else has the same issue, um, it's worth posting on the, on the group chat. And then maybe somebody else has also, has also solved that. Um, what did you have for How are you feeling? What did you have for breakfast, Amon? <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm feeling okay. Uh, uh, breakfast, uh, not yet. No breakfast yet. Okay. I, 
You should have breakfast. Okay. Um, pick someone to go next, please. Mubarak um, Sani. My great mentor. Okay. Mubarak, you be busy. Everyone's going to want you as their Morning. mentor. We can hear the great mentor speaking. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Um, so yesterday we had a meeting with my group and we've been able to discuss quite a lot of things. At least uh, uh, we were able to set up a bit of a repository where we can all contribute to what we did yesterday. And today we've been trying to find a way to load the data into our repository and that's what we've been doing so far. And uh, we've not been able to crack that so far. I don't know what's going on. And today, maybe after this time, we'll see have another meeting to discuss other things we need to do because okay, we quite do, do not understand yet what are the steps we'll be taking. So that's it for now. Does your group have a schedule? We, we do not have a schedule yet, but I think the schedule that we have one after this time so that we can discuss today. Okay. And how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. And, and yesterday I was able to rest, and it's I think this this week is different compared to other weeks because there has been extension in submission and also there isn't much stress like that. Okay. Um, yeah. What is what is this beeping in the background? Are you in a truck? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Just the uh, some electrical components. As okay. Is that the alarm that everything is okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's like this loud beeping that says everything is fine. Yeah, uh, yes, everything is fine. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Kevin's asking about tokens. Mubarak, Kevin is asking you about tokens. I've submitted my listing. And I think some of my group members have done so too. But I'll okay. confirm if they have some, if all have submitted here. Okay. Yes, um, can you pick someone to go next? Um, okay, I'm, I want to check. I'll pick a bracket keyboard. Okay. Bracket, you're up. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Barakat. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, feeling good. Uh, yesterday, like, uh, I, I faced a problem, like, uh, the week three challenge. I, 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 I thought I push all the things that I have done to the week three poster, but when I check it, it's like, it has like a 1.6 GB file and uh, for the mail, the mail runs. And it was not pushed to the Git. I, I, I thought it was pushed to the Git. And I was trying to clean up the mess with that and trying to figure out. And uh, I tried to read uh, the some of the documents, reading materials that, that are given for us, even if it is on uh, my work. The work is done in MATLAB, but it gives a good insight on how to prepare an audio, an audio file. and. Uh, Try to process using uh, uh, neural networks, like two neural networks. So I, I've managed to do those things yesterday, and uh, I, I have joined the group uh, with uh, group five team team members, and uh, are, we are scheduling a meet uh, for today. We have submitted my tokens too. Great. Do you have a? Does your group have a schedule? No, uh, we didn't. Uh, we, we are trying to have a meet uh, today, but we didn't. Okay. okay. Uh, specifically, as uh, as time, time. Okay. As mentioned before, I think it's really helpful if there's a schedule that says who has to get what done by when, so that you can really work. Um, you can really work at the same speed. So that's. Um, and how are you feeling? Yeah, like 
uh, basically the last week's project was a bit difficult for me like uh, when you run the files like it takes two hours or something like that for a single module to build and waiting that long to see a result and move on to the next part and it was a mess for me and I was not able to do all the things efficiently but this week I think uh, since we have more time uh, I just want to deeply learn more about the deep learning part and understand the concepts more yeah okay. I'm feeling great <laughs> thank you and what did, what did you have for breakfast uh, pasta <laughs> pasta for breakfast well okay yeah uh, but never uh, tried that one of, yeah one of my concerns was like uh, the one that's extended uh, like uh, on the schedule like mm. the submission date yeah uh, I thought like uh, one of my thoughts was if we could have uh, then this week's assignment on the schedule and have a week that we will uh, go on with the rest of the other projects so that we can work on on them and try to get what we have then we have what we have not then clearly mm -hmm. and try to understand mm -hmm. since uh, we have a due to submit in these weeks we will be working on this assignment not on the ones that have been given before and yeah uh, I, it's, it's good we, that since we have a break and have to rest but for some of, some of us if it yeah it has been done but if you could have a time where we can catch up with the things that we have done before it, it would be great for me uh, it was one of my ideas yeah no I, th I think it's a good point and we did ask everyone for feedback so that we could consider uh, as much input as possible there's no perfect solution unfortunately yeah. um yeah. and so yeah. we decided to go we we decided to go this way partly because we've also seen in the past that to go from very very busy to doing nothing in a week also leads it becomes hard to come back so um, take this take this as a long weekend, more time to get this week's project done, plus a long weekend. Um, I would I would encourage you to. <clears throat> there is no, it's it's not possible to learn everything in a perfect way in twelve weeks. So take this as an opportunity to understand what has to be learned and to make progress in as many areas as possible. But you will have time afterwards to brush up on the areas that you're most interested. in. We know that we're covering a lot of material that's purposely done. <clears throat> so it's good that if you identify stuff that you'll have, you'll have projects to work on um, in October. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would also encourage you to ask around. There must be other people who are also weren't satisfied with the progress in week three. And so do your best yeah. to figure out how do you make that progress, get that week three to the point that you're happy with. Yeah, and so you're feeling, are you feeling okay? How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right, we'll go to Kate. Kate's put her hand up. Hello, hi. Good morning. I haven't had female voices, so I thought I'd volunteer myself. Thank you, thank um, you, thank you. Yeah, so last week was a bit hard on me. I had a lot of silly errors I couldn't figure out to even yesterday so yeah i'm a bit uh, excited for this week um yeah i felt like giving up after week three because i expected it to be easier as the weeks go by but it really took me off um but so for this week i think there is a lot of new content and a lot of new information especially if you have no idea about deep learning like me, for example, I don't know about deep learning, so I have to watch YouTube videos and read a lot of articles to kind of get the grasp. Um, but just so today we're meeting with our group so that we can plan things out. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited for this week. Great. Does your group have a schedule, Kit? No. Okay. I highly encourage you guys to have a schedule. Um, any blockers? I wouldn't say blockers, probably just uh, getting the knowledge bit would take a, a bit of time. Mm. It's something I'm totally, I don't know anything about deep learning. I started learning about deep learning in last week's assignment. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
So I would love to see more questions being asked. We mentioned this yesterday. I want to reiterate this today. Um, there is, it's much, it's very helpful to learn as a group. Um, and the questions you have, it's very likely that other people have the same question. We purposely tried to make, bring homogeneity into the group so that people are coming into the training with, at a similar level of preparation. So if you have a question, it's, it's very likely there's at least a handful of other people who have a similar question. And so I think I would really encourage everyone just to, even if it's simple things like, hey, I'm reading up on this, or I want to understand this aspect of um, the technology or how to deploy something, or how do I use this algorithm? I'm not an expert in this field, but um, your other trainees are. And if you have a specific question, reach out to some of the experts that we have here. Um, the tutorial team, you have a bell. And I, I would encourage you, it's good to learn, but ask your questions and share what it is that you're working on. And um, our experience has been that that group learning um, is more effective, it's more fun, um, and everyone will move ahead. I don't know, somehow it's, one doesn't get stuck as often as one does just sitting there by themselves learning online. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So what, what does that mean in practice? It could mean, hey, I'm trying to understand uh, technique ABC. If anyone else is interested, why don't we set up a quick chat and just go through some materials together? Could be something like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would just encourage everyone to do that. Um, yeah. And what did you have for breakfast this morning, Kate? I had coffee and egg and toast. Coffee, egg, and okay. So we've had a lot of people skipping. We had pasta, and we had coffee, egg, and toast. Uh, who wants to go next? All right, I'm going to have to pick on somebody then. Uh, Jerusalem, I picked on you yesterday. I'm going to ask you again today. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, let me start with the yesterday's stay. Uh, we meet with our group members. I, I mean, I meet with my group members and discuss it on how to proceed the project. And um, uh, both of us, me and Debora, was familiar with the project. So uh, we decided to go first and also um, give them some resources. resources such as LibreSci and also Python documentation. And then uh, we schedule a meeting after the, uh, yesterday's, uh, it was, there was a meeting, a, team, a group meeting with the Tien Academy team members. And then after that, uh, we decided to just uh, finish 1.1, I mean, one uh, task, the number one task and uh, that is exploring and processing the data. And we also created um, a GitHub um, a organization group, which is, which is a GitHub group. And we uh, discussed it to, for, I mean, to create a branch and to push it and also to uh, discuss each other. So far, it's good. It's gone and good. Schedule? Schedule, yeah. We all, yeah, we schedule off. We've been scheduling uh, since yesterday, and we'll also schedule after this uh, stand up. We're going to meet today. No, but do you have a schedule for how you're going to get the work done uh, to meet the different deadlines? Yeah, we do. That is, yesterday we discussed it on that, and then we uh, finished the task one, and okay. then we'll proceed to the deep learning part today. Okay. And how do you feel? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. In Breakfast? Uh, omelette and tea. Omelette and tea. Okay. Who's next? Can you pick someone to go next? Okay. Let me check. Uh, let me give uh, to Elias and Dallin. Okay. I think he has something to say. Elias? 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 Elias, are you there? Maybe microphone problem. Okay, let me go with Milky then. 
Milky, are you there? Uh, hello. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Milky. You sound yeah. tired. <laughs> I'm kind of, yeah. Hmm. You need breakfast. Uh, I did eat my breakfast. Uh, I had firfir, if you know what it is, with some fruits on the side. And firfir is related to injera? Or it's separate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like cooked injera or injera, fried injera, is that right? In, injera with some kind of, uh, soaked in some kind of sauce. Okay. There's also another dish which is injera with injera. I don't remember what that's called. That's basically what firfir is. You have a firfir, then you eat it with a, a bread or injera. You can, you can eat it with injera. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, how are you? What are you working so, on today? What did you get done? What are you working on today? And any blockers? Uh, well, uh, I don't have much experience working on uh, audio-related data on Python. So, uh, I was trying to read about it, and uh, uh, Jerusalem is in my... Uh, we are on the same team. I, I prepared the GitHub uh, repository, and they set up the DVC, and so on. And uh, I was planning to get up uh, in the middle of the night to read more on the topic, but <laughs> but I passed my alarm and uh, I didn't do that. So I was reading uh, uh, starting uh, early in the morning. That's what I did. Okay. And so as Jerusalem said, your group has a schedule. Um, any blockers that you see, other than not being familiar with the, the material yet? Yeah. I think that's the major uh, hurdle that uh, will limit our progress. Mm -hmm. uh, if we, uh, if most of the team doesn't know what we, we are working about, uh, it, it's, it won't be a group work. It will be rather a personal work. And uh, I think that's the most difficult thing to tackle right now. Why? Why is that the case? If most of the team isn't familiar, um, what pro what makes it difficult to learn together? Well, some of us might push onwards and uh, the others might not get on, on board on the same uh, track. Mm. So unless we are on the same track and uh, helping each other out uh, and understanding what should be done uh, to divide the work and uh, do it in a parallel way, mm -hmm. uh, that will be a, a, a harder for us, I think. Mm. So that's, that's something that we've also heard, and Yatiana is available. So Yatiana's role is to be the glue of the community. Um, it's very hard to do it online, because in person, then you kind of walk around and see how different, how all the group members are doing. And it's easy to see who's disengaged um, in person. Online, it's much harder. Um, yeah. Yatiana, do you want to say a few words about um, group work? And I, we've had some feedback about that it is difficult when certain group members don't engage. Yatiana, do you want to say a few words here? Uh, it, yes. it was not about engaging, by the way. We can oh. engage, but uh, I mean the skill, uh, skill capacity and knowledge-wise difference between uh, group members. So my assumption, my assumption would be that if anyone is is hungry to learn, even if somebody, if one person A has understood something then people B, C, D would be w interested in learning that as well, because it's hard yeah. to discover. So I, that, that, yeah. I agree on that point. L learning, we should all learn, but uh, the, you have a limit to what you will be doing uh, within a day. Mm. You can't learn everything within a day. Yeah. And to parallelly uh, classify the work that is going to be given to you, or the tasks to, to classify and uh, work on the tasks uh, parallelly, everyone should at least know about something what they're doing on. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and trying to learn uh, what you are what you're supposed to do within a day and uh, communicating with your group and taking the task is uh, kind of a little bit hard, I think. Mm -hmm. It might yep. be just me or I don't know. I think it's not just you. I think this is a problem all over the world. It's a problem among teams everywhere, um, where you have different people at different levels of 
interest and motivation. But I think here what we've tried to establish is the minimum expectations must be met. Not everyone it will be as motivated as everybody else. And we want to provide space for very motivated and slightly less motivated people. But everyone must meet the minimum standard of engagement. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, Tiana, do you want to say something about uh, the groups? Yeah, Tiana, are you there? She'll type. Okay. While we're waiting for Yatiana to type, I just wanted to ask, is Steshi still here? So Steshi asked lots of great questions during yesterday's guest talk. So I wanted her to close off today's stand up. So Steshi, over to you. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Uh, uh, yesterday I was also just going through the material and uh, I'm in the same group with Amwen. So we met today morning. Uh, none of us could upload the data as the Swahili data is a bit tricky, so we've asked for help, and uh, we've divided the tasks. So hopefully, the project is going is going to get rolling uh, as soon as we can upload the data. Yeah. How did you any blockers other than uploading the data? I know there's there's people in the chat box who have typed a couple of solutions. Same has written something. Barakat has written something. That may be helpful. Malet is also online. She may be able. Yeah. To, she may be able to help as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. How How are you feeling? I, I'm feeling good, actually. Yeah. Group okay. work is always great. People to did, talk to and run, so I'm feeling good. And what did you have for breakfast? Uh, I had uh, tea and uh, cake. Tea and cake, okay. Yeah. Sounds like the best one yet. Um, how did you enjoy yesterday's guest talk? It was really great. Uh, very relatable. And uh, yeah, I got a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, it would actually be good. So if there's feedback on the guest talks, either positive or constructive, um, we'd be happy to, mm -hmm. to hear that in the, in the general channel. Um, so Brenda, I think she's really working in the field, and it was interesting. The background is she also had to um, make a direction in change in direction, but I think she's working in really uh, interesting and relatable stuff. Um, so hopefully, we hope that she's going to help us design a challenge. We're working with her and her team on that. They're very motivated, but uh, we have to figure out how to make sure that it's at. Actually, the challenge is getting it at a difficult enough level without releasing their information. So, okay, uh, yeah, Tiana, do you want to close off? You'd put your hand up. Yeah, sorry. So I really don't want to talk of the chickens. They will just try to disturb everything. Um, so uh, concerning the guest talk yesterday, I also found it very interesting. So today I'll be sending some DMs to um, a few trainees just to get their view, their feedback um, on what they learned, you know, what inspired them about the, the town hall yesterday so that we can upload it um, on Twitter, probably on Instagram. So just be on the lookout for that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the announcement I wanted to make. Your chickens uh, engaged as well. Okay, yeah. um, so we'll wrap up here. Thanks, everyone. Have a lovely day, and we'll see you online, and we'll see you same time, same place tomorrow. Thank you, everyone.